Dan, Nick, thank you so much for joining me at Mobile World Congress to talk Open RAN and VRAN. I'm excited to get some updates from you both. Dan, maybe we can start with you. Just give us an idea of how you're seeing the technology progress and some trends around adoption from your service provider customers. Sean, well, thanks for having us and uh, great to be here with Nick uh, from Dell. I, for, for me, it's the first proper uh, MWC post-COVID, the crowds are here, and, and everything, the, the top of uh, everybody's lips is open RAN, cloud RAN. Huge, huge change from pre-COVID, it was more of a niche, one or two operators, one or two suppliers. This is all about scale now, and it's coming all uh, different shapes and sizes, but it's the top of, it's the headline news, which is the big shift for us. Nick, maybe you can tell us a little bit about how Dell Technologies and Intel are working together to really further that adoption. Yeah, like for the first time like in our story working together, we really like worked on accelerating the access to technology, right? So with that we created a pretty big program or expandable program around ShiftLift where we brought technology to the ecosystem a year before going like commercially available. And with that, we enable basically our partner in the infrastructure software and the run technology to really start like building basically their product and going commercial faster and uh, you know with shorter timeline for when we're ready to release commercially. And Dan, as you were saying, it is so exciting to see all the innovation in RAN here front and center at MWC, but I'd be remiss if I didn't ask you, what's next for virtualized RAN? Um, well, us in the, in the Flextran team, we're, we're super excited that we're now achieving the, those three key metrics of being pretty much close in parity to traditional RAN in, co in cost, uh, performance, and power. Now it's about the innovation. We're like oh, super excited about things that, that's happening in, in AI space, in, in, applicable to the RAN, making that user experience, not just a, hey, you know, adding in some sort of um, nonsensical AI app that no one's really going to buy, really making the UE have a better experience as go from cell to cell to cell, and, and really boosting the operator's network, making it different. You really used to say, well, okay, why cloud RAN? But it's a more innovative RAN over to the traditional tool set and tool chain and bring that into the market. That's what's next. That's what we're excited about in, in FlexRAN. Yeah, and maybe just a, a final question for both of you is, now that this technology has reached a, a much higher degree of maturity than we've seen in the previous years, what are your customers asking you for? What, what else do they want? Nick, maybe you can start? Yeah, so basically what was important for this cycle was really to get closer to purpose build like baseband. And with that, we had to focus on four key things. The form factor, so we had to have shorter depth and flexibility to service the, 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 the sled with a sled system. Uh, with that, we also like had to deliver better MTBF, you know, to uh, to deliver platform that are more reliable. We had to also use the uh, real estate for more I/O, so we can support basically LTE and 5G cell side with one single server. And finally, we had to really focus on efficiency, so we can have the best ECU in the market, save power, and basically have a product that is more reliable again. Dan, final thoughts? Oh, it's more the same. It's continuing on this uh, fabulous curve of, of cost, power, and performance that we're delivering, and also the innovation. That's what they want. They really want uh, that next level of UE experience. I'm uh, super excited about it. I'm working with Dell to go and, and realize, and it's super important because a lot of these technologies are new, so that early enabling that Dell are doing, what, what, what that us really ensures that at launch, when we bring our silicon product, that whole software and community are, are ready as well. Yes. And it's going to be basically about doing things more optimized, right? So it's going to be about integrating more things, making it operating at bigger temperature range, and again, make it like even better on TCO uh, over time by leveraging like commercial dish shelf technology. Excellent. Well, gentlemen, I really appreciate your time, your perspective, and it's great to catch up on the partnership between Intel and Dell Technologies. Thanks, Sean. Thank Thanks, you for Nick. having us. Yeah. Good job. Good job.